So this is video number three in my little, uh, you know, math practice for the state test, whether you're doing distribution or treatment, one or two. That's what I'm studying for, so I'm here to study with you. And um, this is a, another common question, but how I solve it has a lot to do with the same thing I just did in video number two. So check that out if you haven't yet. And uh, it's a fun one, so check it out. So it's calculate the chlorine dose in milligrams per liter. When a chlorinator is set to feed 18 pounds of chlorine in 24 hours. And then it tells you the flow rate is 570, 100,000 gallons per day. So you got some sort of water flow going on, you know, and there's, there's 570,000 gallons per day flowing through that thing. And then there's this little chlorinator thingamabop that's dropping in 18 pounds of chlorine a day. Eight, ooh. 18 pounds of chlorine per day. 18 pounds per day of chlorine. Per day because 24 is a day. 24 hours is a day. So we're only given two things here. We're given pounds per day of chlorine and we're given the flow. And we need to find out the milligrams per liter, right? And if you remember from video number two, we know how to turn milligrams per liter into pounds per day. We can convert that with what we did. So if we don't know milligrams per liter, then let's just make milligrams per liter X. Milligrams per liter. And re so remember, with milligrams per liter, we get all the way to pounds per day, and we know that pounds per day is 18. So that's what's fun here. So we're putting together the pieces of a puzzle there. So, and do, do the same things to get yourself the pounds. So liter, cancel that out, 3.785 liters to the gallon. And then try to get rid of that milligrams. So for every million milligrams, there's one kilogram. Let's get, that, get rid of that kilograms because for every kilogram, there's 2.205 pounds. And that has to equal, this will be done now. And that has to equal 18 pounds per day. And it will once we figure out X, because there go the milligrams, there go the liters, um, there go the kilograms, and you're left with million gallons, uh, pounds per million gallon. That's a million, and that's gallons, so that would finish as, you know, the MG that you see a lot, which is million gallons. And it's, it's capital MG, lowercase MG is uh, milligrams. Uppercase mg is million gallons. So uh, when we solve here, we end up you, when you multiply three point seven eight five times two point two zero five, that is eight point three four pounds per million gallons times x equals eighteen pounds per day. So we, we have a number, we have a number, and we have an x, and we want to solve for x, but here's the bad part, the, the suffixes are different. You got pounds per million gallons, and you got pounds per day. That's a measurement of water, that's a measurement of time. So shoot, what do we do, you know? We got to figure something out to make it the same so that they could all cancel out, and we're just left with a clean x, and once, when we know that x value, we can just plug it in, and we'll know it's that, that's the milligrams per liter. So Let's see what else we know. We know that there's 570, 100,000 gallons flowing per day. So we could turn that day to million gallons, right? It's 0.57 million gallons. So, well, let's do it in a way that uh, is more thorough here. <laughs> okay. So we got 18 pounds per day, and we also have... Uh, for every day, we're going to flip this fraction on its head, 
for every day there is 0.57 million gallons and then the days cancel out and you get 18 pounds per 0.57 million gallons see that and look that's the same as that so that's fun so we can get rid of this day and put 0.57 million gallons now we have the exact same suffixes and we can cross multiply this and get left with that clean x that we want so remember if you're multiplying two things and you want to get it to the other side you divide it and how do you divide a fraction you flip it on its head and you cross multiply this you know weird algebra things that you, you have to know and if you don't know now you know that's all there is to it if you're trying to get a fraction to the other side you flip it on its head and you cross multiply right so you get rid of this and you put it over here on its head 8.34 pounds underneath million gallons and um and then pounds go away and million gallons go away and you're left with just a clean digit and that digit is going to be... I just wanted to clarify that you you get that, that clean digit that I'm referring to when you divide that 18 that's on top by the 0.57 times 8.34 that's on the bottom. The 0.57 will equal 4 something, so 18 divided by 4 equals the 3 digit that is coming right at you. 3.786. So x equals 3.786. I, I believe that, that equals, when you multiply those two together, it's 4 something, and that's 18 something, and you know, 3 ish gets you there. That's the exact number though. And then when you plug x in right here, well, that, what's that tell you? That's your milligrams per liter, and that's what we wanted in the beginning. Through this entire time, the question's erased now, but they wanted us to find milligrams per liter. How many milligrams per liter is in this water? How chlorinated is this water? And now we can tell them this water is 3.786 milligrams per liter chlorinated. There's 3.786 milligrams of chlorine for every liter of water. And that's that.